with me Come on and talk to me I really wanna know what you Hey, tea sippers. Good morning. Ciao. When I tell you, if you missed the green room that we had yesterday, you missed the party. Last night was fucking lit. Okay. I had so many people contact me yesterday after the show that they just really enjoyed it. It was a good kiki. The chat room on the green room was popping y'all had me dying with the gifts it was just so many good conversations last night but i wanted to come out here with a disclaimer you know what i'm saying for people who weren't there and didn't know the topic um but you know warning the full podcast it was close to three hours i mean we kicked it last night for like three and a half hours so many people called in from like all over the country around the world and i just want to thank everybody especially my caribbean jamaican people the the damn haitian zoes i just thank everybody who called in it was such it was just wonderful. It was just good energy. And it was just cool to learn more about different people's cultures and how they view sex and, you know, just opened up really good dialogue. And that's all I ever wanted is to just open up dialogue and have people be able to express themselves, regardless of what side of the spectrum you're on, what your sexuality is, your race, ethnicity. And I think yesterday just proved a point that so many people can come together from different walks of life and just have real dialogue, real conversation. You know, it was different age ranges calling in. Last night was lit. And I just thank y'all. Y'all had me dying laughing last night. You know what I'm saying? Even after the phone call was over, it was just so funny just going through and trying to re-edit and listen to like all of the different speakers. So what I'm going to do for the YouTube video, I'm just going to post different clips and highlights from different people's conversations last night. But if you want to, once again, listen to the entire conversation, go to Spotify, go to Anchor, which is a free app, um, or go to Apple. Everything will be on there the full three hours. But I want to come on here with a disclaimer. Please understand that this is very sexual content. We talk about oral. We talk about all types of stuff. So if you're young, uh, this may not be for you. If you have children in the room, Room. You may want to, you know what I'm saying? Well, they should be at school right now. It's early. <laughs> Unless they're home from school, you might want to listen to it with your ear pods. But it was fun. It was a good key key. And once again, just thank you to everybody who called in, you know, who was just open and honest and free and just, you know, was having dialogue. Thank you to everybody who raised their hands, but unfortunately weren't, you know, able to get on the stage. And most of all, thank you to everybody who's participating in the chat. We had like close to 1,100 people last night. So, so thank you guys once again for y'all's support. And I I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good day. A lot of those, like our cultures and a lot of um, Eastern cultures, they think that oral sex on a woman is submissive. So anything that is submissive in nature, no like eating booty, no anal sex. Anal sex is also very taboo because it's very reminiscent of homosexual male activity. So many mm -hmm. Jamaican guys are not going to do anal sex. They're not going to eat, you know, a woman <laughs> in the box. They're not going to do any of that. So I just wanted to put my two cents on that. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it definitely depends because a lot of guys say they don't do it to anyone. I feel like Jamaican men, they're very particular. Like, they would be like, I won't do it to this person, but if I like you and I really want to be settled, like, maybe get with you a little bit deeper, they would. Mm -hmm. But that's mm -hmm. in my opinion because I date a lot of Jamaican men and I'm Haitian myself. Mm -hmm. So talking about mm -hmm. it is very taboo, very, very taboo. It's called so, Move Mountains. I've listened to songs like that since I was dead young. <laughs> so to me, it's kind of ridiculous that now everybody has a problem with it. Like this is everybody you know, wants to be moral all of a sudden. Right, right. Like don't try to play moral now. Where was all these morals? A couple of years ago when it was men singing about these lyrics. Like I don't I don't have a problem with it. I really don't care. Maybe because I'm young. Mm -hmm. uh, Maybe because I'm really young and I don't have a problem with it. Like it's a different generation. Maybe, yeah. Uh, maybe it's a generational thing, but at the same time, it's like 
I mean, so I was listening. Ask you, <laughs> let me ask you this because you know we have women in the chat. They, they child, they like what him look like. They want to know what you look like. <laughs> what him do in the bedroom? <laughs> I, I see, I'm young. I'm 18. I just graduated high oh, okay. school. Like last never year. mind. Never mind. He's he young enough to be my child. I don't want to know what you do in the bedroom. <laughs> yeah, he's a baby. He's a baby. Back up. Back up. <laughs> Look at all these old freaks. Tell me what him do in the bedroom. What him look like? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, but seriously. So <laughs> no, but I appreciate the compliments. But seriously, <laughs> seriously, I, I it's like I I can't take the criticism seriously. And when I was listening, I grew up listening to Vibes Cartel and Spice. And like, come on out. Really? I also Ooh. wanted to touch on the subject with Gambian men or just mm-hmm. with African men in general. Sex is about them. Like yes. I grow up, I'm Muslim as well, and oh. you know how you can have up to four wives in Islam. Mm-hmm. It's all about men, what pleasures men want to get. And when women are more liberated and say, oh, I want to do the same thing a man do. Sometimes it's like internalized misogyny because you're only wanting to do it only because the man can do it. Do you really want to do that? And also um, when we were talking about basically the men saying whatever they want, oh, I want to get my piece up, all of that good stuff. Now that women are explaining how they want to be pleasured, is a problem. It's not her speaking sexually because she has speak sensually in all of her songs. Since she is very, very sexual. But it's the fact that now she's saying, oh, I want to be pleasured. I'm not talking about true pleasure in me in the form mm-hmm. of your pee. I want to be pleasured with your mouth. Like, let me be the center of attention. It is a problem. It's all about the woman putting herself in a focal point. Like, it is about me now. They cannot handle that. It's intimidating to them. Yeah. That was like, I was really interested to hear how in other parts of the world is completely all forms of sexual, of like homosexuality, lesbianism are completely taboo. That was really interesting because in mm-hmm. America, it was like, it's Amer- in America, it's like lesbianism, that's fine. A girl being bisexual, oh, she's a lesbian, me too. Oh, she likes yeah, girls. Crazy. Yeah, there's well, a lot just of praise like for that. the other caller who was who called in and said that mm-hmm. you know you're talking about having oral sex with a woman, but you're not gay. Like it's just there, yeah. you're at least bi. But yeah. it's like women can get away with that. A dude couldn't have called and be like, "Yeah, man, my neighbor yeah. down the street just sucked my dick." He was like, "Yeah, gay." <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, there's no way mm-hmm. a guy can just say that, and everybody's just like, "Oh, okay, all right, cool, <laughs> my guy, that's what's up." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To me, that was really interesting because I was like, in America, the song would be like completely fine. I mean, Normani and Tiana Taylor were pretty, they're getting on on stage. I like, I thought it was fun. I thought it was cool. But I was like, if this was a man, another man, people would have a problem with it. My, my wife and I were listening in, but um, I do want to make a couple of points. So first of all, um, I'm from Toronto, Canadian born, but definitely Jamaican background. Um, my whole house was considered just Jamaican. Like we did a lot of stuff there. I listened to dance hall. I'm a 90s kind of kid, so I mean, I was growing up with the whole 90s R&B dance hall and stuff. So this whole thing with her and the whole oral sex thingy, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. All JA guys do it, okay? It's a lie. It's a front. They will eat that stuff like Aki and Sawfish, okay? Straight up. Oh, I'm here for the accent, not Aki and Sawfish. (laughs) Listen, I have brethren who are straight from JA. And the stuff that they do down there, they make it seem like it's all taboo and, oh, we don't do that. Bad man don't yam this, bad man don't yam that. No, they will drink that stuff like soup, okay? Like, they are all a bunch of hypocrites. <laughs> I'm telling you, they they are a bunch of hypocrites. Me, personally, I mean, I'm not going to tell. I mean, I'm married, so, I mean, I do stuff for right. my wife. Right? But a lot of those guys, it's, it's a whole front. And then... Also, too, even with the whole, like, I'm going to take it way back. So for all my, you know, people in the chat who you know, are from J.A. or let's like dance all, even in the 90s, we remember growing up, like, Shaba Dembo. I mean, that basically said, you know, no oral sex. Vegas, heads high, killing with the nose, same thing. Lady Saw, Sycamore Tree, they all promoted that stuff. But deep down, they were doing that stuff. They were all doing that stuff, like, mm-hmm. behind, you know, behind the whole market. They don't, they, they, it's a whole front, right? Like, even... Beanie Man song back in the day, you know, um, gunshot in the air, but you no, know, all that stuff like that. No gal shouldn't sit in your face like chair. Listen, Beanie Man, all them people, they do it. They all do it. They just don't promote it or they don't want to be known to do it because it's an embarrassment. So mm. um, it's that's how it is. Like, I mean, 
it was it was crazy. Like when I was younger, it was like you shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be doing that. And then when you realize, but hold on a second, the girl actually likes when you do that. So maybe I should just change. Yeah. My- <laughs> Keep, maybe just keep doing it just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, and like I mean, and then I believe Steven said it when Tony Mataran and Vibes Cartel and Mr. Vegas came out. The music got really raunchy. Um, Dutty Wine was very popular. Um, Hot Fuck was very popular, so they were very raunchy. But I really want to touch on Foot Type because I feel like he's very, very much a hypocrite. Because the guys I mentioned, like Tony Mataran and Vibes Cartel, was very raunchy. Yeah, broke it down. Yes. Y'all know. Shout out to the chat. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> shout out to the chat. Um, but when those guys came out and they were really raunchy. Yes, Lady Saw, Queen, Queen of Dance Hall. Um, when those guys came out and they were really raunchy, he had nothing to say. He was real quiet. I think it's really terrible of him to come out and be so public about shaming her when she's talking about um, female orgasm or just going down on a female in general because Jamaican men are so hypocritical when it comes to that. Um, So I really, I, when I listened to your podcast earlier, I was really pissed about that because I was like, well, you were real hush hush and quiet. But then when she come out and say something, you want to shame her. I also wanted to touch on the concept of, uh, performative bisexuality. And so Ooh, let's talk I, about it. Yeah. There's there's a lot of uh uh cases that have gone uh unnoticed where lesbians who who consider themselves to be lesbians, not bisexuals, uh have, have been raped, have been assaulted because there's this notion that you know it, it's kind of like this play thing. They just haven't met the right man yet. And it's it's socially acceptable in a lot of circles and so this performative bisexuality is something that has become so mainstream that many people really don't see uh lesbians as 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 a true uh, sexuality and so oftentimes when i'm at the club or if i'm i'm out and about or talking to anyone uh who might be a lesbian in my in my friend group they really talk about it and emphasize that this is a, a, a really strong issue and it does lead to a lot of uh sexual assaults all right so two things i wanted to point out okay and that music video you know how megan okay. is very tied to like bitcoin and cryptocurrency and i feel like megan low-key used this girl for her energy and she had that girl on a fucking debit card with an nfrid chip on it there, cool. And she had, just she like the kitty Shensa? stuff with the music on, video was just very bizarre. Hold on, she had uh, yeah, Shinsa on a debit card. Remember, Shinsa was like walking. Yeah, like on, in the music video, she was walking on top of a like debit card, like a Visa debit card, I think. Yeah, there's a scene where she's like on top of a debit card, and Megan mm-hmm. has like really weird ties with cryptocurrency, mm-hmm. with Cash App, and just weird shit like that. Mm-hmm. But also, another thing that I realized mm-hmm. that like, a lot of this like pleasure with women and stuff goes back to like colonialism. It goes back. And, 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 and when I was in New York, a Jamaican man told me, cause we, um, I would go to his vegan Jamaican restaurant in bed And he told me that way back in the day when slavery was happening, colonialism was happening in Jamaica. He told me that when the slave owners and like, um, conquistadors and all those people they would get the strongest wisest richest men and rape them in front of the whole village and that's where a lot of the homophobia comes from it's called buck breaking because if you can break down the strongest man in in that community then it's going to put all the rest of the men in check and it's going to make the women lose respect for that man so we're going to program you from early and y'all not even going to understand what it is now it's socially acceptable to 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 promote this to your 12 year old where as janet jackson had a five hundred thousand dollar lawsuit because her left nipple came out for nine sixteenth of a second yeah imagine how far removed we are from that and that was just in the what the early 2000s that was like what 2002 no, super bowl when that 2004 happened? super bowl 2004 mm-hmm. and we go from that and i'm talking about people were shocked and appalled when that happened you know, everybody's minding their business on that good Sunday, and all we seen was a nipple. 
you know, <laughs> so people were appalled. And to go from that to now you can watch music videos like Sukiana literally eating other girls out and calling that a music video. Yeah, they owe Janet Jackson an apology, you know, because it it, 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 it went a long way. But Shinsia could do whatever she want to do. But just make sure if you're going to do a video like that, her and Meg Thee Stallion don't target it towards kids. It should be it should have that block sexually explicit content. It shouldn't even show up on kids YouTube stuff. But then they streams is going to be low. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, right now how it goes. True. And yeah. I got one question, and I'm not trying to disrespect my Jamaican women or Jamaican men. I heard this, and I need to know if it's true or not, because I don't want to believe it. Is it true that y'all take y'all panties in the shower, which and y'all wash them? They were talking about that in the chat. Yes, I don't want to believe it. I'm like, nah, my Jamaican sisters, they ain't gonna do that. That's down low. That's nasty. Uh, uh-uh, I ain't gonna with put that. that on. I mean, if you, if you're, what's wrong people? with that? Yeah, people oh, are yeah. here. Yeah, just I wouldn't just. And wanna, then sometimes they turn around. They're still um, turn around and throw it in the washer. Yeah, but then Latinos I also heard do too. I know about the Latinos. I'm like, okay, that's them. But Jamaica's but I mean, do you, I mean they're washing it with with you know detergent, right? I mean they're washing yeah. it because you know a lot of people like honestly we grew up washing a lot of our clothes by hand. Like when I grew up, mm-hmm. we didn't have a washer. That's what I'm hand. saying. I'm like, that's a yeah, twofer. Save water. See, see, she's see, she's a baby. She's 26. So she's like, oh my yeah, god, the, you no wash your like, in the shower? What are you doing? Yeah, we didn't. Yeah, I didn't. We didn't have no washer and dryer, honey, until like maybe like the mid nineties. Yeah, we washed oh. a lot of our clothes by hand, and we hung it out on the line, girl. Yes, child. I used to squeeze mine out with the roller. Y'all, I'm about the roller in the old bathroom. Oh, don't say the roller, um. ma'am. Ma'am, uh, no. I know about the roller when I go down south to visit family. Wow, they still got that stuff it? around. They so, still got that. Y'all never know which way this chat and this discussion will go. I love it. I'm glad everybody's here having a good time. Uh, we got a lot of people listening. We have over 300 private listeners. We have over, and we had got up to like close to 800 people at one point. No, nah, you over 1,100 yeah. now almost, or no, 1,000. You're doing pretty good, Miss Ma'am. This room is Okay, popping. Man, I'm glad y'all having fun tonight. Because y'all be, I, I bet y'all heard it, I just don't know the name. You know, I hear a lot of stuff. Yeah, you probably don't know the name, but I'm sure I heard it. In shop. Mm-hmm. Yes, I was romping it all up in the shop mm-hmm, with that Trini ass nigga who had a big one. And fuck them Jamaicans. I don't know what they even saying. I but- am dead. <laughs> <laughs> Get off my phone, you the Virgo soul. We'll talk to you later, sis. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> Yo, what's up? Baby, Hey, tea sippers to listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.